So I recently released a course on Supabase with the absolute legend, Fireship. Seriously, if you haven't seen his video, JavaScript for the haters, you need to right now. Anyways, in this course, we create a Reddit clone using the tech stack of Tailwind, Supabase, Playwright, and then React for the front end framework. But I did recommend that if people were up for the challenge, they should try to translate my React code to their own front end framework of choice. And since the Angular community decided to become absolute chads and put on a free virtual conference in the face of some bullshit conference drama, I decided to follow along in my advice and live stream me rewriting the same Reddit code using all the Tailwind, Supabase, and Playwright code we had written, but translating all the React code written to Angular. And those recordings are definitely available, but if you don't want to sit through 8.38 hours of me trolling Brandon and TrashDev on Twitter with some Angular coding mixed in, but still get the benefits of me doing all that work, then this video is for you. Supabase is a backend as a service that all revolves around a Postgres database, but wrapped with a REST API, GraphQL API, WebSockets, and fully integrated auth, all put together with a JavaScript client with full type safety generated directly from your own Postgres tables and functions. It also boasts a in-browser graphical user interface that is so good, I honestly don't think I'll ever make another Postgres instance without using Supabase. But I'll always love you, PG Admin. You would G. So basically it's like Firebase, but better if you're a fan of Postgres and not a fan of these newfangled no SQL solutions. Supabase is also completely open source and provides a CLI for you to use the same production images they host on their live site, but configured for your local development. Meaning we can stand up everything ourselves and make sure everything really works using tools like Playwright before deploying new features out there to the world. To use Supabase in an Angular app, you'll need to create a file that exports a Supabase client that you initialize with the URL and public key of your Supabase's API. This way we don't need to mess with dependency injection and can just import the client right into our components or services or route guards and etc. whenever we need to read information from our database. Since I too am an Angular Andy, I naturally really love overcomplicating things. So I found myself using a user service to store most of my user specific data. I also use RxJS in some places to define when we should reactively re-request data. The whole repo is available in the links below. And if you're interested in learning more about Supabase, check out our 100 seconds of Supabase on the Fireship YouTube channel. And if you really want to get Supa, check out the full Supabase course we released on Fireship.io. You can use the code SUPASHIP, all caps, for 50% off the price and you'll get all the knowledge you need to take an app from getting started all the way to deployed with Supabase by getting hands-on experience in building, deploying, and solidifying the real world project that is Supership.io. And at just $10 with a coupon code, I think it's a great deal, but I'm probably biased. While I joke about overcomplicating things, there are some pieces I definitely like about Angular's approach. Creating an Angular service for the user data, for example, felt much nicer than creating a use user hook in React and then having an additional step of setting a provider for that data with the React Context API. Also using RxJS to declaratively define our data streams felt much nicer than praying that I had hooked up all my React use effect hooks to trigger correctly. So to all the Andes I say love what y'all are doing and I'm psyched to see Angular 15's updates. The new functional route guard with inject was particularly nice and I'm even more psyched to see the whole Andy community coming back alive and doing some awesome stuff Stuff, like putting this conference together. I can't wait to see what y'all do next. Cheers, and I will see you in the next one.